Um, so I want to ask Meg, um, you are, in a sense, experimenting all the time, partly out of necessity, because you are writing for an audience that hasn't been written for very much. I wonder if you'd talk a little bit about that experience. Yeah, it's a, it's a strange experience, because it turns out that what's experimental about my um, writing is my daily life. Um, I, what has come about, it, it's interesting to me, um, the University of Wisconsin published some statistics recently that really caught my eye. So about 25%, a little bit under that, 25% of public school kids identify as Latino, right? But in 2011, only 3% of the books reviewed were either by or about Latinos. So there's this huge disconnect. So um, the fact that I'm writing Latino fiction or fiction in either in picture book or middle grade or YA that represents Latino kids and Latino issues as they are is seen as as unusual. The other thing that I try to layer in because they're the topics that are coming up at our kitchen tables are things that um, I think politically sometimes we think of as uncomfortable. So um, in Tia Isa wants a car the little girl is separated from her family. And we have children separated from their families for immigration issues, for economic issues. And um, I don't necessarily think on first blush when someone's reading that book, that theme immediately comes out. But I think a Latino family reading that together with their child does relate to that. Or the fact that money is sent home, the remittances that are sent back home to the home country. Um, in The Girl Who Could Silence the Wind, the theme really in there is, is migration, why young people move. Um, and that's such a huge issue for young people in Latin America and coming to this country. So it, we're in families that have lots of mixed status. Um, we are a really diverse group. Um, so that, that in it, in and of itself is experimental. The other thing that I try to do, which is unusual, this is the only place where we're Latinos. Everywhere else, we're from Ecuador, Puerto Rico, Cuba, right? We're all different countries, we speak differently, we have our own thing. But here, we're this ajiaco called Latino, right? So that's kind of hard, because we really are different. So I try to write it, from, for the kid, the bicultural Latino kid here in the United States, who is this ajiaco. So I use words, I, I put Spanish words and English words, so I'm working in Spanglish a lot. I try to pull at the issues that are common across many of our countries, but it's a tough thing because we are really, you know, we are that diverse.